गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो आफ्टर द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी गो थ्रू ऑल दी स्टेप्स ऑफ द हंगेरियन मैथड विच इज़ दी ओनली मैथड टू सॉल्व द असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम सो हेयर वी आर डूइंग इट बाय एन इलस्ट्रेशन सो दैट वी आर एबल टू गो थ्रू ऑल दी स्टेप्स दैट हाउ वी आर परफॉर्मिंग सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल हेयर आई एम टेकिंग द एग्जाम्पल सॉल्व असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम ए पी using hungarian method and find the minimize minimization cost or to find the minimize cost so to find the minimize cost means here we have to solve this assignment problem for minimization by the hungarian method so the question is here a b c d are the person and uh, first second third four are the task and these are the cost t3 2 4 5 these are the cost which as which is basically to assign these person to complete these task so the, if the a person is completing the first task it cost 3 rupees if a person is completing the second task it cost 2 rupees a completing the third task cost 4 rupees similarly for fourth is 5 rupees and so on so these are the cost so basically it is a cost matrix where a b c d are the person has to assign first second third fourth task and the objective is to minimize the cost then in, in such a way we have to assign these tasks to these person or these person to the task that the uh, result should be minimum the cost should be minimum so let's see how we will perform so here the problem is balance first we have to check the uh, problem whether the problem is balance or not so here the problem is balance and then how we judge it is balance because the equal number of rows and columns here we have four rows and four columns so the problem is balance now uh, the step number 1 which is very clear it is row wise so the step was from each element of that particular row select the least number and subtract it from each element of that row means from the first row select the least number which is 2 subtract this 2 from each element of that row so 2 will be subtracted from 3 2 4 and 5 and you will get 1 0 2 3 similarly from the second row select the least number which is 3 and then subtract this 3 from each element of that row Three minus three, three minus three, six minus three, and nine minus three. So you will get zero, zero, three, six. And the same operation we will do for zero and zero. So this is particularly row wise. Now the second step is column wise. In this column wise, the same operation will be performed in column. Means from the each L, each particular column, select the least number and subtract that least number from each element of that column. So from the first column, let's see which is the least number. Here the least number is zero. So zero will be subtracted from each number. Then the result will be same. If zero will will be subtracted from one, the result will be one. Zero is subtracted from zero, the result will be zero, and so on. similarly from the second column again we have least number is 0 so the result will be same in the third column we have the least number is 2 so this 2 will be subtracted from each element of that column so 0 1 1 and 6 from the fourth column we have least number is 3 so we'll subtract 3 from each element of that column so this step is called column wise now the third step which is assignment step so let's see how we are doing the assignments so here i'll write all the elements the same as are in column operation after writing all the elements now the assignment is basically we have to assign in row wise i first give the priority for the first row then in the second row then third row and fourth row so in the first row we can assign only to the zeros the sim simply you can see that uh, after using the row wise and column wise steps you are getting more more than zeros more so many zeros in the matrix so we will assign only to zero and the assignment says make a square bracket so how we will assign in the first row you have 
three zeros. You can assign only to the zero and you have option three. This, this, this means you can assign a person to tasks to three, four. So, it's your choice ki aap kis ko assign karoge. So, what we generally do, we assign which has the minimum cost. Our objective says we have to minimize the cost. So, we will check for A which is minimized. Means which value is minimum 1 out of second, third and fourth task. So, let's see in the illustration. Here A have 2 in second, 4 rupees in third and 5 rupees in fourth. Then definitely if we are going to assign out of these three, we will assign to the minimum 1. So, here I will assign this. 2. As I am assigning here this 0, so I will make a square out of uh, over the 0 and then I will cancel the rest 0 corresponding to this particular column and this particular row. So here I have uh, two zeros in the row, I will cancel it and in the particular column I have one zero that I will cancel. Now I will give the priority to the second row so in the second row after getting it cancelled i have only one zero so i'll assign it then corresponding isko assign kia corresponding zeros will cancel out this particular row me or koi zero nahi tha similarly will goes to this third third row in the third row only one zero we have which is being cancelled no other zero and in the fourth row, we don't have any other zero to assign. So, after the third step, the fourth step says that if we are getting all the, all the assignments in each row, we are getting the assignments in each row, then your result is optimum. So, here we are getting the uh, assignment in the first row and the second row, but we are not getting the assignment in the third and fourth row. So, we are not getting the optimal solution right now. So, the next step is, row column row tick row column row tick means first we have to tick that particular row which is which is not getting the assignment so third and fourth row has no assignment so i'll mark this and this the first row means mark tick that row where you are not having assignment so tick third and fourth row then in the third row and fourth row, just go through and see how many zeros you have. And that may be a cancelled zero. So, we have only one zero here and one zero here. So, its corresponding column will be marked. So, this is the second column. After getting this column marked, I will check in this particular column which is assigned zero which is assigned 0 this is the assigned 0 so corresponding this particular row I'll mark tick that was a third row so first we will assign to the row then column and then row so first we will assign that row that particular row where you are not having assignment then in that particular row whereas you are finding 0 mark the column then in particular column where you are having the assignment mark that row. After this tick tick in the rows and column. Now unticked row and ticked row columns will be covered up. So now we are going to cover by a line unticked row. So we have 4 rows and 3 rows are ticked. So the unticked row is only 1. So I will cover unticked row and ticked column. After doing cover up of unticked row and ticked column, we have three types of elements in the matrix. One is the uncovered elements, other is the single line elements which has the single line and one is the double line element. So, we, are, we, have, we have three types of elements, uncovered, single line and double line. So, the ninth step says that select the least number out of the uncovered element. So, the least number of the uncovered element is 1. So, this 1 will be subtracted from uncovered. Add on the double line. 0 and single line will remain same. So, the result will be, this is the double line. 
first i am selecting the least number of the uncovered element which is 1 so i'll add 1 on the first double line element this is 0 0 0 will remain same 0 per koi change nahi hota this is 0 0 0 will remain same this is also 0 now uncovered elements mein se least number 1 ko subtract karna hai so this is 0 0 0 2 3 5 1 1 after getting this matrix, now again go to the step number 3, assigning, assignment step. So now again I am assigning, I am assigning this first, then this, this crossed, this is crossed, this assign, this is crossed, this is crossed in the third. Now I am assigning this. So I have assignment in the first, second and third row. But I don't have assignment in the fourth row. So now again I will take. I will take the row where I don't have assignment. Then in particular row where I have 0, that column. Then in that particular column where I have assignment in that particular row. So row and then column and then row. First in particular row where you don't have assignment. Then a column where in that row you have 0. Then in that column where you have assignment in that particular row row now again tick after tick you have to cover up unticked row unticked column so we have two unticked row so cover up unticked column we have one two three four four uncovered element select the least number which is one again this one will be subtracted from uncovered element add on the double line and single line and zero will remain same so this is the next table where the double line element has been added by 1, zeros are same, uncovered elements has been subtracted by 1. Now again go to the step number 3 which is the assignments. Again we have assigned this, these 3 are crossed, this is crossed. In the second row you have this value 0 which you are going to assign, this is crossed, this is crossed. In the third you have this. Now again you don't have the assignment in the fourth row. So you will mark tick in that row you have two zeros. So mark two columns. In these two columns you have to select the assignment. So in this particular column assignment is here. So take this row and this particular column you have assignment here. So you will take this row. Now again unticked row and ticked column. So out of the uncovered elements, I have the least element is 1. Now again, this least number will be subtracted from uncovered. Add on to the double line. Here I don't have any double line element. I have only this element which is double line, this element is which is double line. But it is 0. So we will not add here because 0 and the single line elements always remain same. So now the, again the next step is this. So here... We are going to assign and similarly I don't have any assignment in the fourth row and repeat the same process. And then in the last this is 3 all zeros 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 this is 2 because the least number out of the uncovered element was 1 so this becomes 0. Now the assignment this these 3 are 0 uh, these 3 will crossed. Ye dono bhi is crossed. Second row and now you have this option. So you, these two will be crossed. In the third row you have this option. And in the fourth row you have this option. So here A is assigning the second task. A is assigning the second task. B is assigning the first task. C is assigning the third task. And D is assigning the fourth task. Now I will write all the original values from the question that what is the cost when we are assigning a to second b to first c to third and d to fourth so the cost will be taken from the question that a second that is two b first three c third seven and d which value that d fourth which is eighth uh, D fourth which is uh, 8 
so now i'll add all these values which is 20 hence the total minimum cost is rupees 20 similarly i'm taking one more illustration which is quite simple so you are able to understand solve the ap to find the minimum time these are the jobs and these are the persons we have assigned these jobs to these person and the table is of timetable these are the hours that a job if a job is assigned to the P, p1 person he will take three hours and a job is assigned to the p2 person he will take eight hours to complete it so this is the assignment problem here we have four rows and three columns which is not balance so here the problem is unbalanced so first we will make the balance by using the dummy column so that four rows and four columns so and having zero elements so i have assigned fourth column having zero assignments so now this is balance i have four rows and four columns now the step one which is row wise from the each row select the least number here i have zero the least number i'll subtract from each element the table will remain same because i have zero in each row the least number is zero in each row so the table will remain same next step is column wise where i'll select the least number in the first column which is two least number in the second column which is six least number in the third column which is one and least number in the fourth column which is zero so the after subtracting this 2 from each element of the first column, this 6 from each element of the second column, this 1 from each element of the third column and 0 from each element of the fourth column, I will get this matrix. Now in the step 3, I will note down all these elements same as of the second step. Then I will start assigning. So now I have row wise assignment. So first row I have two options. So, I'll check which value is least. Then in the questions, we can see this is 1, this is 0. So, I'll assign this 0. I'll cross all the zeros corresponding to this column and this row. Now, in the second row, I'll assign this because I have this option. Ye to cancel ho gaya. Iske corresponding row or column ke 0 cancel kar dein. Joki nahi hai, iske andar abhi cancel karne ke liye koi aur 0. In the third row, now you don't have any assignment because there was only one zero which is being cancelled. In the fourth row, you have this option. So, you will assign it. So, now you have uh, assignment in the first row, second row and the fourth row. But you don't have assignment in the third row. So, you will mark third row. This is zero here in the column and then assignment here row. Unticked row, cover up, unticked column. Select the least number in the uncovered element which is 1. Subtract this 1 from each element of un each uncovered elements. Add on the double line and 0 and single line will remain same. So, so this is the table after doing minus uh, 1 subtracted from the uncovered element. 0 will remain same and single line element will remain same. So now I am going to assign again here the first this being cancelled. In the second we have this option which is least cancelled. In the third we have two options. So I will assign this because this was the least. This will be cancelled, this will be cancelled and then this 0. So hence A has the assignment P3. B has the assignment P1, C job will be assigned to the P4 person and D job will be assigned to the P2 person. I will write all the original time taken by these persons to complete the jobs. From here, the A person is assigning P3 which is 1, B person is assigning P1 which is 2, P3, P1, P4, P2, third P4 which was 0. P3, P1, which is 6. So now, P2, sorry, 6. That was 6, right? So now, I'll add all these values. 6, 2, 
एट वन नाइन सो दिस इज नाइन आवर्स इज द टोटल मिनिमम टाइम टू कंप्लीट द जॉब्स बाय द ए बी सी डी पर्सन्स